Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited about this very quick video. We're going to be talking about fonts and getting fonts to align inside of the medium ruled line, which is actually college ruled, the college ruled lines in OneNote. Uh, this always drives me crazy if I'm trying to go back and forth between typing and um, writing and then converting that handwriting into text. It looks like garbage. So uh, for me, it was really important to figure out how to do this. So I have a couple options for you. So stay tuned. All right. So the first thing that I'd like to point out is that uh, if you want to set up the rule lines, you go to view rule lines, and this is the one we're using right here. We are not using the very narrow and we're not using the big ones or the very big ones. Uh, these, by the way, this is wide rule, standard rule, college rule, and narrow rule. These, by the way, map to the same position every single time. So if you switch it, it's not going to unalign when you put it back. Oh, I was a little nervous about in the beginning. All right, so uh, what things do you need to know? Uh, when you're testing this out, you should know here in the home panel, you can choose your font here. Um, this and this option of doing a 0.5 font size is not available in the system settings, which uh, I hope they add because that would be really nice. Right now I have this set at uh, my personal font, which is written with my handwriting, and it's set at 20. The actual best alignment is with 19.5. At the end of this video, I'll quickly go over uh, what I used to make this. It took me about two minutes to make this font and uh, you can make your own for free using an app from the free app from the Windows Store. All right, so things that you want to know. If you have some text and you're trying to get it to align and it's snapping to all the wrong places, hold down the Alt key and it will allow you to align it to exactly where you want. You can do it on a keyboard or you can use the artist pad from Tablet Pro and you just start moving and then you press the Alt key and it'll allow you to line that up uh, exactly where you want. Uh, that was, again, that was another something that was driving me crazy and a wonderful user on YouTube shared with me how to do that. So again, many thanks. So this is not in any way an exhaustive list. Uh, I would really like to see what you guys find works, what works really well. Uh, so far, there's only one that actually um, fits. And uh, this one I was told by uh, Margie at OneNote C. Uh, that's her Twitter handle. And she has a YouTube channel here. I'll link to her. Um, I reached out directly to her to find out what font worked the best for this. There's no um, actual mapping ability for this. So you have to just line it up and then go. And that's not bad. So this this one, the I'm not going to pronounce it script. Uh, one point, or I'm sorry, 15 size, the size is 15. And this is correct here and correct here. This is actually aligned the way I think it should, and it should go, uh, this is 20 lines, and this should be fine all the way to 100 lines, um, if not further, without any problems. All right, the Microsoft font maker that I was speaking about before, um, this is 19.5. You can see the alignment here. Uh, so a little bit up on the bottom. Um, this is another font that I made with that same font maker. And it looks like 19.5 with your own custom font uh, is actually getting a pretty consistent size for, you know, 20 to 30 lines of text, which is good. All right. Uh, Kendara 19.5, uh, also really nice fit. Uh, best one is this one, Sego, Arial, not great, but it is a default size. Um, when you're converting into text, so let's go ahead and zoom in here, and we'll say converting to text. We're going to select, oops, we'll select this. Mm hmm select this and we can do it this way. Uh, by the way, the reason I like this um, using a two button stylus with OneNote, um, 
if you do something, the eraser is down here. So it's not up here, which means you can do and erase and very quickly select and convert stuff. It's just faster. So on this one, uh, I did a review on a bunch of different styluses, and I thought this one had really nice clean lines, um, and it has tilt support. By the way, this one has the second button here that you right click here, so I can do this and click text, converting to text. And this is 20 instead of 19.5, but you can see it's actually still pretty close. So you can get this and make that work uh, quite well. Uh, one thing to note, uh, you cannot do any other changes. Once this is in the clipboard, you've selected this, you are stuck. You can't change the font color or do any of those other things here. Um, let's see. Okay, changing the font color. If we then try and convert it, it turns into junk. So, <laughs> so don't do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select this and delete it. And uh, where we change this in the system settings, you go up here to the ellipsis, click on settings, options, scroll down. I have my font here. Uh, if I want it to line up um, here, this is the only options you have. As far as I know, there might be somewhere in settings uh, in an i and i file or something where you can actually change the system option. But right now, um, 20 is the closest I can get. All right, so this is where you select that. And then you will most likely need to uh, close and reopen OneNote for that to take effect. Um, there may be a simpler process, but that's not too bad. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Oh, wait, I forgot one more thing. The uh, Microsoft Font Maker um, right here. Um, help improve. No thanks. And so you would just go through here and you would just write. just like that, all the way down, uh, very, very fast. <clears throat> it's very fast, and it takes literally a couple minutes, and you can have a font that when you expand it out, it matches uh, at least closely to your regular handwritten font um, or your handwriting so it, it doesn't look so out of place. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Again, thanks to... Uh, Margie at OneNote C and uh, everyone else who contributed to this information. All right, have a wonderful day and until next time, stay creative.